What is the best or worst hotel experience that you've ever had? Let me know in a comment. In this game, I play as a nosy maid and I like to rummage through people's things whilst they're staying at the hotel I work at. Except that gets me into trouble and I end up wrapped up in a mystery. Hi, I'm Mad Morph and this is my full playthrough for the demo of this bed we made. Hit that like and subscribe for more indie gaming playthroughs, first looks and games you've never heard of before and let's begin. And we're in. Who am I? What's my name? What's that say? S. Luigi. Oh. Rooms. Self-service. Man, I have got amazing posture, haven't I? Sophie, you've already done this room. You're not cleaning it twice, are you? So nice she cleaned it twice. Can I read the paper? 19 arrested in Deviate Raid. Montreal police arrested 19 persons in an early Saturday raid at Mammy Manny's Lounge, <laughs> located on Stanley Street, downtown Montreal. The establishment owned by Emmanuel Labot is a known hangout for sex deviates. Isn't it deviant? I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so... Let the people be deviates. Ah, oh, my new home, according to Susanna Nivet. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Say no to divorce. <laughs> you can be divorced against your will. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. It's very serious. Women and children suffer most in divorce. You lose your succession rights in divorce. The wife's pension rights are lost in divorce. You lose your right to the family home in divorce. Who, who does? What do you mean? Women and children suffer the most. So what is this saying? Like, women should say no to divorce? You can be divorced against your will. I mean, isn't that the point of, like, leaving someone? Confused. Can't always be mutual for people, can it? Can I snoop in other Stick rooms? Stick to your room order, Sophie. Come on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll come back to this one later. Have a little peek. Mr. Spade? David Spade? Mr. Spade? Film being developed in an actual dark room is instantly like, oh, you're a serial killer. Why are you taking some pictures you shouldn't be? It's me! What? Tampering with objects may lead to a positive or negative consequence. Is this me? Are you taking pictures of me? I look quite pretty there, actually. What is this? Yo, that's really creepy. Oh no, that doesn't look like me. That one doesn't. Maybe it is, but this does look like me from behind. I don't know. Has he written anything on them? I mean, really such a um, great idea for a mystery game, because when you think about it, maids going into rooms, when you're in a hotel, I'm quite clean, but you still leave bits out and about. You must, every room is kind of different that you go into. I'm sure they see a lot of the same stuff, but also it's just a lived-in space, right? You see someone's 
wrapper of what they ate or something. It all sort of paints a kind of picture or something. It's, um... Oh, hello. Strange. I wasn't done cleaning. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Um... Let's ask Beth. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I oh, work. Oh, it is me, okay. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? He caught me snooping. No, he didn't. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, uh... I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No, that's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing. Those pictures would put a big red target on your back. Hmm. Voice acting is really good. I could throw the pictures out. What if Mr. Spade's dangerous, so I do nothing? But shouldn't I warn someone? What if that man's dangerous? Trust me. Stalkers often bark more than they I bite. mean, famous last You've words. Have stalked before? I'm pretty sure it's part of the female experience to have at least one insufferable encounter with a creep. That makes it okay, I mean, does it, Beth? I don't think it's ever happened to me before. Well... Yes, you're part of the club now. Ooh, do I get a badge? Unfortunately, being a creep isn't a crime in the eyes of the law, so you'd best keep it on the down low. I'm pretty and sure it is. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> depending on depending on how it manifests itself, I'm fairly sure there are some things you can report. Um, there's a safe. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet that's where the good stuff is. Do you have the safe combination, then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Mm, give me a minute. Merde. Those idiots. Merde. What? I can't find the combination Merde. list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. So we got to find it. You can have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. Oh my god, you if know, the phone so rings, I have to get, get out of here. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. Hmm, I wonder how it goes if you um, speak to Andrew instead. And now we search the room. What's that? An army man, eh? 99th Infantry Division, Belgium, for 1944. Throw away, oh my gosh. Any clues you pick up or throw away can be found in Sophie's journal. Right. Having a good old snoop. I mean, this is perfect for me because whenever I play a game when you can pick things up and look around in rooms, I am such a little snoop. Birds of North America, the definitive work on bird identification. This fifth edition of Birds of North America and Encyclopedia includes ten new species and even more tricks on how to recognize them. Alfred K. Eaton is one of the world's most renowned ornithologists. I'm a little Snoopy Snooper. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. What's this? Hmm? Oh, hello.
Is he a private dick? Detective? I remember this sale. I picked up that new winter jacket for mom. Alright. These are places that I've been. Here's diner, too. Were we ever there at the same time? Two Cokes, two burgers, one extra fries. I mean... Delicious. One extra fries is ten cents. Two Cokes were forty cents. I know inflation, but still. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. He is watching me. Montreal Tramways. Nothing to say about that one. The lake. X marks the spot, I guess. I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? I don't think it is a coinky dink, darling. Something tells me you won't be missing this. Peas. Beans. I hope you aren't eating those beans. One man's trash is another maid's trash. Spam. Is this a floor of the Clarington? Morgan. Oh. Is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you. Let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Edith Franklin. Paul Morgan. Lindsay Franklin returned to sender to Paul... Hogan? Morgan? I can't really read cursive too well. I'm an idiot, sorry. Um... Quest to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? The room in question is occupied by an extended stay guest. We're therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Why did you want to go in? It's, it's 1958, by the way. Hospital discharge. Wait. Is he watching me with Binox? Key. What do we have here? You are going back to my cart. I mean, also do my job, you know, taking pride in it. I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Take your pills. I guess we have that in common. Anything good on the wireless, darling? Let's have a listen. Ah, I love this song. The statics. I particularly like the bit where it goes... That's my favorite bit, that bit. The Holy Bibble. hospital and it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses oh that's comforting and prescriptions born in 1924 admitted in 1947 discharged in 1957 anxiety character disorder insomnia short-term memory loss I mean that that all sounds like you problems it doesn't sound too dangerous Patient initially admitted for nervous breakdown, displayed erratic behavior, mood swings, occasionally aggressive, non-responsive to shock treatment. 
Neither insulin nor electric. Patient condition improved after your medication. Meprobamamati. 400 mg's. Frena brederatetodal. 50 mg's. That's you. Okay. Guess I should leave it as I found it. Oh. oh. And they were roommates. <laughs> One of my favorite sounds of all time. And they were roommates. One room, two women. So many secrets. No one at school suspected what took place once their door was locked. School? The teachers? She was alone in a town she barely knew, hundreds of miles away from home. She was desperate for comfort. She found it in the arms of the most unexpected person. <laughs> Welcome to Down to Sleep. <laughs> Tonight, on the podcast of Softly Spoken Stories, and they were roommates by Bridget Boswell. For anyone who doesn't know, I have a podcast where I read books to you, and I would definitely read, and they were roommates, but that would be a Patreon book by the looks of things, to be honest. That would only be on the Patreon at patreon.com slash down to sleep. What first started as a normal friendship between two women soon blossomed into something much more passionate and disturbing. This is a tale of love and desire like you have never read before. All right. Uh, throw away? I mean, probably, you know, halfway through. Oh, Siggy's. I like that it gives you the option to throw everything away, even though there's really no need to, you know? So if you wanted to, you could, um... The storm must be getting worse. I hope Mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Oh, the static was on the TV. Oh, that's nice. Even though it was kind of like white noisy, you know, some people like that, find it peaceful. But now you can really feel the silence. It opens up all those nice frequencies. And people have probably been shouting at the screen going, Morph, turn the TV off. You know, it's just in the background. What are you doing? And I was just uh, walking around inspecting stuff. Most people, that's probably the first thing they would have done. Come in, turn the TV off, gone back to snooping around. But not me. Let's have a look. Can I see me in here? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Guess not. Villeneuve's French to English, English to French. Oh dear. Oh, I like how that moves. I'm a martial artist. You ever as a kid, like, someone uses a, um, <laughs> like a switchblade in a movie, and you're like, oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. Why is he, um... Oh, it's a shaving kit. I thought he was, like, putting blusher on or something. That's an old, that's an old wet foam shaving brush. I shouldn't bug reception just yet. Okay. Oh, that's satisfying. There you go. That's not this bed that I made. Um... What else is in here? Let's have a look. The safe code. Our guest did write down the combination. What? Find some clues to decipher it. How? What do you mean? Uh, the map on the wall makes everything weirder. Every thread points to a place that I have visited lately. But what does that mean? Am I being stalked? Okay. Okay. 
So we're looking for clues. Maybe it was when he was discharged, 1957. For the safe. Ah. What's the way? Hang on, what do we have? Huh? How do I... Oh. Wait, what? Ah. Ah. Okay. I think I can put together the code now. Let's try the safe. Okay. 34... 99, 57. Oh. 34, 99, 57. 34, So that's when he was born, when he was discharged. And where did you get the other one from? It's not when he was born. 30, what? What are you talking about? Where did she get that? I'm confused as to where she... Um... Request to move to 507. Call Why that. did you want to change rooms? Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? Hmm. Do not forget to buy more film. Oh, it's his short term memory loss, is why he keeps writing notes to himself. That's so cool. I think I can put together the code now. Let's try the safe. I also want to inspect a little more. Old timey toothpaste. I mean, there's no reason not to do my job. Why are you drinking coffee on the toilet? Looks like prescription drugs. What are they for exactly? Clean the tub. Ah, oh, you actually clean it. Cool. I like that. I hope there's rooms in this game that are just plain and you clean them just because. That would be really cool. I'm loving this so far. I would love to do a full playthrough, I think. Right. What did she say it was? 34, 99, 57. 34, 99, 57. 34, 99, 57. Again, voice acting's great. 57. Oh. Come on, that is such a teaser. Ugh. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in a comment if you'd like to see the full thing when this drops, and if this video does well when it comes out, I'll do a full playthrough. Until then, there are some videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me right now, and I'll see you next time. Good night.